We shall wait a few more minutes for everybody to join. Yeah, good afternoon, Saurabh. Uh, yeah, we'll wait for another couple of minutes. We already have our national president with us. Uh, so we'll just start in another couple of minutes, right? Yes, sir. Sure. So, Saurabh, uh, I think uh, it's about time we should uh, start yes. the meeting because uh, we have a long day. Okay. So, good evening, everyone. As you can see, and as you all know, we are here to celebrate the World Environment Day. And as you can see, today I'm outdoors. I have I'm a Miss Nature, uh, even if it's for just today. So, yeah. So uh, we are gathered here and we are indeed uh, very lucky to have with us uh, our national president as well, Mr. Amita Voshul, along with our uh, dignitaries. Uh, first, we'll start off with the uh, video as per protocol and then we shall proceed throughout the day. Proceedings. Uh, yeah. So, to start today's proceedings, I would request our national president, Mr. Amitav Shur, uh, to say a few words. But before that, uh, to for the welcome address, I would request uh, Mr. Manish Tiwari. Yeah. Sir, if you can hear me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Saurabh. Uh, good afternoon, friends. Uh, uh, best wishes to each one of us uh, today on the World Environment Day. Uh, I am really pleased and delighted to welcome our national president, Mr. Amitav Sur, and Mr. our national treasurer, Mr. Utpal Viswas, who are here among us in spite of their extremely busy schedule. Today, we have all gathered here to celebrate this important day on behalf of the Ishre Kolkata chapter. In fact, we at the Kolkata chapter have lined up two very important programs for today. 
the first one now to celebrate the day and acknowledge the efforts of the members of our chapter especially our young brigade members of the students chapter and k12 in carrying forward the vision of the ishray hq leadership especially our national president mr amitabh sur we at the kolkata chapter are proud to be part of this endeavor and going forward the team will share the de the details of our efforts i am sure that the members of our society in general and our chapter in particular will be proud of the energy and enthusiasm of our members especially our young supporters the second program of the day is later in the evening where our mentor and past national president mr manoj chakravarti sir will be delivering a distinguished lecture on the topic of green building concepts coming back to the program at hand we shall be starting with our pledge by our national by our program chair mr amitabh datta and a unique topic of carbon footprint by our zonal chair youth mr shubham banik we will be following this up with a cultural fest by our young brigade starting with a superb rendition by our secretary shankhoda so without any further delay i would like to invite our national president to share his thoughts for the day welcome sir thank you manish uh, and thank you shoram and uh, good evening uh, everyone uh, actually it's a very nice day to connect uh world environment day is uh, you know act i think it's the most important day that we celebrate in today's times because uh, unknowingly the damage that uh, uh, civilization has done to this world uh, is uh, you know something which needs to be arrested now i am not saying that i am against civilization civilization must go on we must uh, uh advance in science technology and uh, uh you know engineering uh but we must also take care of uh, our home which is our mother earth you know that our mother uh because that's where we live that's where our future generations will come and live and uh, therefore i'm glad that uh, my parent ch my chapter my home chapter uh, kolkata has arranged this beautiful program today i can see that it's a wonderful program where you're taking a pledge you are also uh, you know uh, sharing the cal calculator that has been uh, devised by uh, shubham and uh, also some uh, followed by some cultural program to set the tune right uh, and then of course uh, 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 a kind of a technical uh, uh, you know deliberation none other than uh, manoj chakravarti Uh, so it's 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 a it's a good occasion to be here and i am sure that you will all enjoy this evening uh, we from our side uh, have tried a very small step to kind of uh, do some corrections uh, we have uh, as you as you already know and you have widely participated i must thank you for all that laksha 1000 resolve that we had taken today of planting 1000 tree uh, uh, as as of the current count uh of course it's not like the count that we get online live in our during our elections but whatever count we are getting from all the chapters you know we have surpassed it by far by by a mile uh there are chapters who have planted 200 trees kolkata has done you know one students chapter was glad to see there are some chapters who have uh, jointly uh, planted about 500 trees and therefore you know it's it's really uh, going wonderful i'm so pleased that this movement uh, which has been taken by my team uh, and also supported by all of you all the 44 chapters came forward and welcomed this idea and they have uh, uh, taken this resolve it's a wonderful uh, feeling to get you know when you see that yes we are being able to contribute back uh, slightly on this day uh, uh, i was particularly shocked when i saw that calculator you know shubham one evening shared that with me and said that uh, uh, so this is what we have developed and i was pleased to see that calculator and i equally shocked to see my score because i i i i started terming myself as i am a criminal to this environment 
because I do not know by use of my car, uh, you know, by virtue of my distance from my residence to my office and uh, the daily use of the car and uh, the other things that we use uh, every day in our daily course, uh, which we have to do. Uh, I agree, we have to do that. We cannot maybe do away with it, but then what we are not doing is the course correction. If we have to do that, yes, if we are taking a step which we have to take for civilization, then also we have to take two steps to correct that uh, un uh, and undo that, uh, you know, uh, to save this world, to bring a, a better world for our future generation to come and also for us to come because you're, you're all young, you will be now living for many, many more years. Uh, and therefore, it's very important that we create a better world for all of us. Uh, and uh, this is, today is the, you know, uh, decade uh, starting from this year, UNEP has taken uh, a restoration of ecosystems. That is the theme, ecosystem restoration. And that decade is starting from today, from 2021, it will be going to 2030. This one decade is actually, is a good opportunity for each uh, on one of us, each citizen of the world uh, to kind of correct whatever wrong, whatever mistake we have done unknowingly. And uh, also next year would be the 50 year of adaptation of World Environment Day. In 1972, uh, in the United Nations, World Environment Day celebration was started. In 2022, we will be coming to this. So the 50th day celebration has also started from this year. We have just entered into the 50th day. If you count 1972 as the first year, and uh, the completion of the 50th year will happen in 2022. And this year, that's why we are starting a decade for eco restoration. So I will, uh, you know, request all of you that try that calculator. You will yourself come to know that what is the mark that we have to come down to. And here it's not going up because it's a competition everywhere we want to grow. Like everywhere, yeah, the student wants to get more marks, the businessman wants to get more money, uh, businesses wants to get more business, you know, so everywhere it's kind of growth phenomenon. But this is where we have to do that reverse cycle. Here it's not growing in terms of carbon footprints, but growing in terms of restoring our ecosystems. And I'm sure all conscious engineers present here today pledge for that. And we will march towards that in this decade. Looking forward to that. And Ishri will be certainly, certainly beside you for all this movement. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amitabha, sir. And thank you, Manish, sir. And obviously, as both of them tried to say that when we see the carbon footprint we usually generate, I think it's a reminder to all of us and especially World Environment Day is a reminder to all of us to live the other 365 days in a way so that the environment is sustainable. So keeping that in mind, we'll obviously come to the entire presentation regarding the carbon footprint. But before we do that, I would request uh, Mr. Amitavo Dotto, our program's chair, to take, uh, to take the pledge for protection of environment and lead us into that. Thank you. Thank you, Saram. Good afternoon, all. Now it's time to take a pledge. I am honored to share the pledge and behalf of Israel Kolkata chapter in presence of our national president, Mr. Amitabha Shur, and our national treasurer, and you all. Thanks, Saram and team, Israel Kolkata chapter. We all are humans, at the most beautiful creation by the God on our mother earth. But with the advancement of the technology, knowingly or unknowingly, willingly or unwillingly, we are doing blunders with our environment. And as a return of the gift, we are getting the natural disasters from the nature. If we don't respect nature, the ways it deserves, we can't escape the vagaries of those natural calamities. With the context of our national president's theme, this society here, Lakshya, we are taking the pledge that we shall plant saplings as and whenever possible, as much as number we can throughout the year. The good things 
have already been started and will continue to save our mother earth. Let's pledge together, join hands together and make our art sustainable for our next generation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Over to Soram. Yes, I think Manish sir has raised his hand. So do you have something to say? No, no, I had raised my hand just to part to be part of the pledging, pledging process. Okay. Thank you, Saurabh. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So thank you, Amitabh sir, for the pledge. And we always uh, would like to abide by that pledge throughout the year. Uh, moving on, uh, as our previous speaker said, that we had a Lux thousand. And we pledged, we also pledged to protect the environment. So in mind of that, we planted trees. And our Ishre members throughout uh, the state and throughout the country planted trees. So with a, in a similar initiative, let us just show our Ishre Kolkata members how they planted trees, not just members, they're even their family members, their children, how everybody gathered together in, in, in coming forward to protect the environment. So please share the screen and let us see the pictures. Here you can see our national president and national treasurer is there. Manoj sir is there, Gautam sir is also there. You know, they are leading from the front, our senior members leading from the front, as always. Here we also see our chapter president, Mr. Manish Tiwadi, and we see Jointo sir is there. We also see Shubro sir. So, you know, we are indeed privileged to see our seniors leading us. Yeah, you can, uh, we can see the other members. Um, our uh, regional our zonal chair is there, Mr. Shubham. And our youth chair, Mr. Harsh is also there. Here we can see the Ishre members throughout, you know, we can see someone at sight. Even while working, yeah, he has uh, stayed true to the pledge. Yes, we can see everybody in their homes and at sites. Beautiful. Ishre members coming together. Yeah. As you can see, it's indeed, indeed, indeed a proud feeling when everybody comes around together for an initiative. Yeah, uh, Meghna Cha Institute, one of our student chapters, they had together planted more than 200 trees. And these are just a few glimpses of that. Here I was talking about before, the children of our Ishra members. I mean, it's like the family comes together. It's indeed, Ishra is a family, as you can see. The small kids coming around planting trees, they are indeed the future. And we are indeed proud of that. In continuation of that, we have some other kids as well. So total number of saplings planted by Shri Kolkata chapter has been 300 plus. I think that deserves a round round of applause. Everybody coming together and planting 300 plus saplings. It's indeed, indeed a proud moment. So moving on, since we are talking about planting trees, that's a, you know, a positive effect. Now let's see how knowingly or unknowingly, we have put a negative effect. That is a carbon footprint. Uh, it was a very good initiative started by Mr. Shubham, wherein we took data from uh, our uh, chapter members. You know, daily uh, uh, things like, as I was saying, driving up to work, or you know, switching on the ACs for maybe one hour more. All these things amount to a carbon footprint. And we knowingly, unknowingly uh, give, give out a lot of that. So further to explain that and how we can, you know, uh, stop or reduce that, I would like to invite Mr. Shuvam, our Zonal Youth Chair, to kindly take forward. Thank you, Shuram. Uh, thank you for the introduction. So let me know once the screen is visible. Yes, visible. It's visible? OK, great. Uh, good evening to one and all present here. This is Shuvam Banik. So, this is a very small PPT. I'll not, I'm not going to take much time. 
but this is just to make sure that all of us are on the same page we all must know about carbon footprint we all must calculate our carbon footprint that's only how we assess ourselves we study throughout the years we give exams only to assess ourselves so similarly we should take care of the environment also similarly we should it is just a take stuff how um, we are doing to the environment now what is carbon footprint this is nothing but a quantification of the amount of carbon dioxide and the other uh, greenhouse gases that we are emission that we are emitting uh, through our various actions and also this is uh, this can be found out for organizations events etc how to calculate this carbon footprint this is a very big question because it's a very complex procedure it has it takes into account a lot of factors lot of factors and so it's very difficult to calculate the carbon footprint but to ease out there are a lot of online softwares available online calculators available and we have prepared one such in which uh, in very simple steps you can calculate your carbon footprint uh, value and now the next thing comes to your mind the next question should come to your mind is how do you reduce the carbon footprint that is again there are a lot of lot of ways in which we can do it there are in number of ways in which you can do it but to put in simple terms i have used that with our good and sustainable behaviors we can reduce the carbon footprint and i was talking about calculation of the carbon footprint these are some of the factors this is these are not all mind you you here you can see uh, some very common factors like lpg coal consumption etc computer usage etc and also some very unknown factors which we can never think about like our the even the amount that we are paying for our insurance our mortgage our loan payments all these also accounts to carbon footprint and this is really something that uh, we never think of that it's there and and also in my entire ppt i'll be showing some facts these are not fun, fun facts actually i don't call it fun facts because there is no fun in harming the environment but throughout i'll show you some facts and you can actually see what is uh, happening around the world so for the food production that is a very basic thing without food we cannot survive that accounts for 83% of total carbon emissions every year this is worldwide data whatever data i'll be showing you is worldwide data specifically water another very important thing because because the water is not available in pure forms everywhere we need to pure purify the water before usage so water also has a very high carbon footprint human emit a lot of carbon dioxide and that is even more than vol what volcanoes does so can you even imagine that so this is a glimpse of the tool that uh, we prepared at ishra kolkata chapter so uh, here you just by using very simple datas we are calculating these are the most important data set that are needed to be there for calculation of carbon footprint and there are a lot of other datas which we didn't use because that would again complex the procedure and i thank everyone who has responded to this and you can use it throughout the year so there is no restriction any time of the day any time of the year if you wish to calculate your carbon footprint you can just simply log in here use the give the data and you will get the value in your email immediately so based on the data here are some of the facts so based on all the responses that we have received 3.15 is the average carbon footprint value and the for an indian for indian perspective the average value is 0.56 but whatever we have received it's 3.15 the average value and globally the carbon footprint average value is close to 4 and again there are some facts here so to uh, this is a target that our global carbon footprint value should drop under 2 tons from 4 it should reduce to 2 by 2050 otherwise there will be a 2 degree rise in the global uh, temperature and studies have shown that even with 1 degree rise in temperature there there can be havoc around the world so thus to prevent this 2 degree rise our carbon footprint value should be 2 by 2050 this is global based in as per indian average the indian average is 0.56 but as per the studies 0.19 is the value amongst the poor and 1.32 is the value amongst the rich which is section of the society i mean now the very important question how to reduce this carbon footprint we cannot stop drinking water we cannot stop taking consuming the food that is not the solution the solution is how to reduce it how can we rectify our mistakes so on the left you can see a lot of uh, points these are very common points we teach our children 
in science in social science and everything we ourselves have studied a lot in environmental science everything and you the first point is from 3r we should move to 5r 5r is a very new concept which is reduce refuse reduce reuse rot and recycle this is a very new concept that is coming up and you can read the other points also but on the right i have highlighted these points because there are some fun facts about this in the latest slide also so tree plantation that we have done today around 300 plus along from east kolkata chapter that is a, a huge response thank you all for that now the next point comes that by rising the temperature of, my, of our air conditioner by 1 degree we can save a lot of uh, we can reduce the carbon footprint a lot and the very interesting point point number 3 is deleting unwanted and spam mails so spam filtering we never think about that this can also harm the environment but it is there i can show you the figures in the next slide and the last point is carbon offset carbon offset is nothing but uh, these are the ways in which we can uh, we can rectify our carbon footprint basically and there are some pro programs done by corporates around the world where they uh, introduce programs of tree plantation or some other like solar plant installation etc wherein we can contribute monetarily or by voluntarily even with our voluntary presence we can contribute there and actually help in reducing the carbon footprint i was talking about the facts the first point is with every six trees that we are plant that we are planting we are saving we are fixing up one ton of co2 so our carbon footprint value is reducing by one ton with every six trees that we are planting according to the bureau of energy efficiency if we are raising the temperature of our ac by 1 degree centigrade we are saving 6% of energy consumption the third point i was talking is about carbon footprint uh, this carbon offset programs wherein this is not just helping the environment these are creating jobs as well studies have shown that 39 jobs per million dollars spent are created in uh, carbon offset programs and that is a job creation ratio which is six times higher than the oil and gas industry you can imagine yourself and last but the uh, most important point you can do it right now you please go to the next tab of your uh, device open the email uh, email box of your uh, whatever email you are using and delete all the unwanted phones unwanted mails and unwanted uh, spam mails that you have uh, received because by that every year about 135 ton of uh, tier of uh, twh of electricity is saved and which is equivalent to 13 million cars off the road that means that is equal to the energy consumption of 13 million cars so you can imagine the amount of thing uh, amount of wastage we are doing to the environment without unknowingly this we didn't knew honestly i didn't even knew this but we find out these studies thank you that was all from my side i again urge you all to use the calculator for your own benefits thank you thank you mr shubham for such a wonderful presentation you know it opened our eyes in some way somewhat way if we say and i am sure we'll take lessons from it uh, as to how we can live more sustainably reduce our carbon footprint and help the environment so moving on uh, we will have a presentation by ms ishika shah i request ms ishika shah to uh, kindly share the screen and start the presentation I hope the screen is visible. Yes. Okay. So good evening, everyone. I am Ishika Shaha, a student of DPS Rubipa, and today I'm going to be giving a presentation on World Environment Day. So what is World Environment Day? It is a United Nations event, and on this day, people and organizations all across the world take part in raising awareness for the environment. The celebration of this very day began in 1972, and it is one of the main objectives which encourages positive action for the environment. And every year, thousands of young and old participants take initiatives and volunteer to make their surroundings a better place to live and breathe. So although we are all aware of, let us just take a look at what are our main environmental problems. Depletion of resources, which is a result of deforestation, industrialization, and urbanization. 
pollution, which is also a result of industrialization and loss of biodiversity, which is a result of deforestation and urbanization. Now, what should our environment dream be? So to be honest, dreaming is just the first step towards actualizing a future that we want. Now imagine what a billion dreams means if it just comes true. Moving on, what should our environmental goals be this year? Well, we should start with an individual action which leads to collective power and translates to exponential impact. Then shunning all forms of waste and entrenching culture of cons conservation and thriftiness especially consumption of food, energy, and all natural resources. A very great example is to cut down on the amount of food waste we create in our day-to-day -day life. Now, let us just take a look at all the initiatives which is necessary to fulfill this dream. Using renewable sources of energy, such as solar energy, wind energy, hydroelectric power, and covering short distances with eco-friendly vehicles like bike cycles, battery cars, electric cars, etc. And last but not the least, planting trees to make our surrounding more green. So to sum it all up, what should our resolutions be for this year's World Environment Day? Well, saving trees, reducing water loss, avoiding non-recyclable materials and using recyclable products, reducing pollution, investing in renewable resources and reducing deforestation by increasing plantations and last but not the least, environmental ed education. Also always remember, it is no use cribbing about pollution because we only created it. So let's join hands to save the planet because it is neither yours nor mine, it is ours. So let's protect our mother who nourished us. Happy World Environment Day, thank you. Thank you, Ishika. That was such a nice presentation. We all have something to learn from it, obviously. And it gives me pleasure to see that our next generation are aware of it and are working on it. That indeed gives every one of us a pleasure. Next Thank up, you. we have uh, Mr. Shanko Bhattacharya with a recitation. And, and as we all know, he is our secretary of Ishika Kolkata chapter. We have seen him in every avatar. Let's see his recitation. আমার শহর ছেলেবেলায় আসত পাখি উড়িয়ে দিতাম তালি মেরে এখন ওরা ঘর বেঁধেছে শহর থেকে অনেক দূরে পেয়ারা খেতে আসত টিয়া কোকিল চেত গান শুনিয়ে ফুল ধরা ওই শিউলি গাছটা ধীরে ধীরে যায় শুকিয়ে বুঝতে পারি আমার শহর বদলে গেছে নিজের গুণে শালিক চড়াই গায়ে এখন গাছ কাটারি গল্প শুনে পাল্টে গেছে জলবায়ু কৃত্রিম শহরের রং কারখানার ওই চিমনি কালো ধূসর ধুলয় সেজেছে সং শোভা ভাড়ায় ঘাটগুলো সব উপছে পড়া আবর্জনায় মুখ বন্ধ প্যাকেট নিয়ে কুকুরগুলো টানি হ্যাঁচড়ায় কংক্রিটের এই জঙ্গলে আজ ঘর বেঁধেছে অলস জীবন আলো বাতাস আর খেলে না চার দেয়ালে হয় আলাপন আবার শহর হোক না সবুজ ফিরুক পাখি গাইতে গান দূষণ মুক্ত হোক পরিবেশ আমার শহরে ফিরুক প্রাণ Beautiful, beautiful. I, I'm sure like if it was not a virtual program, the auditorium would have all clapped for a long, long time. Moving on, we have uh, Master, <coughs> Master Pranil Banerjee, who is also, you know, uh, the son of our immediate past president, Mr. Shomujit Banerjee.
Wow, indeed a star in the making that I'm sure of. And we we'll look forward to hearing from him in the next, all the programs coming up of history. Moving on, we have Mr. Duman Dash. One fun fact, he is my classmate, has been my classmate and he will be performing live. I have a lot of fond memories with him. Like we were in a college band together. We used to jam late in the evening in first year, I remember. So I'm pretty sure uh, you all will definitely enjoy his performance. Duman, the stage is all yours. Thank you, Shoram. Uh, it's great to have all the uh, very known faces from the college days. It's like it's very long since we met, and I'm very glad to see that uh, my friends are organizing such a, such a wonderful event. And the new uh, generation, the people who are going in school, they have come up with great performances, commendable. And I think, yeah, this is amazing in this period of lockdown where there's nothing to do rather than work and just stay at home. So this is quite refreshing for me too. I hope I'm able to refresh your minds too for some time. Audio clear? Can you play once again? It's not audible. <laughs> All good, all good. Yeah, thank you.
you. I hope Thank you liked it. Thank you, Diman. That was fantastic. You know, for a moment you made me nostalgic. Like we should definitely yeah. sit together, really our college friends, and you know, jam together. That will happen obviously after the lockdown. Moving on, and thank you, Diman. Thank you once. Thank you. Moving thank on, you. we have uh, Master Shoma Bogosh with a flute performance. You know, uh, that was such a peaceful and enchanting performance. Like, it made me go back a few years, few centuries maybe, and you know, sit back and listen to it. Moving on, we have Master Shagnik Bhattacharya, who is also incidentally the son of Mr. Shanko Bhattacharya, which whom we we heard just a few minutes back. So let's see what he has in store for us. Oh. 
performance like i i have got a new idea now after seeing all the performances i think we can most definitely form a new band arishay kolkata band we have all the talents here and we can you know perform in the next time moving on i have and the next performance is of mr tomogno ghosh uh, let's see what he has in store for us wonderful tomogno that was very a very good performance uh, i wish we could continue for the next one hour but we are almost at the end and we are left with with one last performance you heard him playing the flute a few minutes back now he has come in front of us with a mouth organ with a with a piece of mouth organ let's see what he can do very beautiful performance and i hope like this pandemic throughout the world ends and we can definitely say aha ki anondo akashe batash right so with that we come to the end of all the cultural performances 
Uh, now I would like to request uh, Mr. Utpal Vishwas, our national treasurer, to say a few words and also say how he liked all the performances. Sir, if you're there. Utpal, sir, are you there? Uh, Utpal sir, are you there? Yes. Sir? Utpal sir. Yeah, I can see him. Maybe, maybe there is some uh, some problem with his uh, network. We'll just uh, try and catch him up. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, uh, I think we can. Do we have something else lined up. Uh, so actually, no. no actually we after this we uh, otherwise i i think maybe the rcc is going on so maybe the national treasurer mr utpal sir is busy with uh, that uh, aspect of the important uh, yeah manish uh, i'm oh, sorry great. That, we have uh, we have him. yeah yeah but only thing the motion is going on so <laughs> oh i can understand i can yeah, understand yeah. so please, i please, i will yes. i will do the honors on behalf of the please, sir please. Thank you, thank you, Manish. Please understand. Yeah, thank you for yeah, understanding. Yeah, I, right. Thank you, thank you, thank right. you. Uh, thank you, everyone, and thank you, Soram, for uh, putting up this lovely program uh, for today, uh, the World Environment Day evening. It was, I presume, uh, as memorable for everyone as it has been to the Ishri Kolkata chapter. And special thanks to all the young members, all the young members. Uh, right from the students team to the young members of our uh, CWC and uh, especially to the young kids of our members. Uh, their enthusiasm and their spirit is infectious to say the least. I'm sure uh, that uh, each one of us present here has enjoyed the evening and uh, special thanks to Amitabha for uh, rendition of the pledge which I'm sure that each one of us at Ishre Kolkata chapter would carry forward for the whole year. And to Shubham for his excellent carbon footprint uh, presentation. Uh, I'm sure that uh, it has been a good learning experience to uh, all of us, especially the young kids who will take this knowledge forward in their everyday life and uh, especially Shankoda, what a performance. Uh, we have been coaxing him for quite some time and here he comes up at last. Thank you everyone. And uh, with these words, I would like to thank Soram once again and see you till next time. So, uh, so nice of you to all be present over here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let us also thank all of our sponsors. Uh, yes, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, so we would like to thank our sponsors, uh, Asava Insulation, Universal Sales, Lloyd's Insulation, and ALP Insulation, who have been so gracious in supporting us endeavor in these difficult times. And I would also like to take this opportunity to uh, uh, tell our members that if they uh, have uh, been happy with this program, they should write back to Ishre uh, with their suggestions and their ideas so that we can incorporate this in the future in our programs. Uh, thank you. Over to you, Soram. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And indeed, today was a, you know, a mix of learning and fun. We had the cultural performances and we learned a lot and how we can contribute to the environment. Keeping that in mind, I hope we will follow this throughout the year and help the environment. But before we take leave, I would request everyone to switch on your camera so that we can have a photo session together. Everyone kindly switch on your cameras if it's possible.
just a few more minutes. Thank you, Shodam. I think uh, we're done. Here. Yes. We once. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. With that, I would like to take everyone's permission to end the meeting. I hope all of you enjoyed, and we'll live to the pledge for the next one year. Okay. Let us also uh, remind everyone that we have a, a, a distinguished lecture program by Mr. Manoj Chakraborty at 7 p.m. So please join for that event also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm ending the meeting. Yes. Yes, okay, thank you.